Alright, what is going on, you lovely ladies and gentlemen of the world? I got stuck in the failed to join room vortex, and so I'm done. I'm sick of it. I'm tired. Let's do let's do this thingy now. Oh, you know what I should there is? I can't even believe I never noticed that. I can't believe I never noticed that I've been skipping. I just thought this entirely because there's so many colors, right? There's so many colors. I didn't even realize I was skipping 13 to 15. Alright, I'm gonna need to remember to go purchase those colors. Alright, good. All right, so anyway, I mean, it doesn't matter for Hawkman because I think Biking, the Biking color is the color that I want to go with for Hawkman. Now, it was requested of me to do these trials. Now, as you've seen, I've already done most of them. I did them on stream a while ago. I haven't done them recently. Uh, the problem is that Hawkman's probably like the the character that you're going to benefit the least from doing their challenge combos. I mean, like, it's, it's always going to be beneficial for everybody because everybody has pretty decent challenge combos but for hakuman it's not like most other characters where it's like all right you get this starter at this particular point of the state on like wherever you are with your stage position whether or not the opponent is airborne or whatever you know like where it's just this is your combo based off of these factors every single time with hakuman you add an extra layer of that because of his meter where you need to determine all right how much meter do i have how much meter do i actually want to use you know how optimal do i want this combo to be damage wise versus how much meter i use but also, I've been watching... Um, oh, I need to turn on me inputs. I don't know why I just turned Irish there. Turn on me inputs. That's not the, that's not the button to do inputs. That's the old button to turn on the inputs. Um, I've been watching some Hakuman matches recently. And honestly, most of the, from my memory, most of these combos aren't terribly useful. I mean, like, these airborne juggles are. Most of them are what you kind of sort of want to do. But I've just... I don't know. I, I, oh, I hate this one. Please tell me he's low enough. I knew it. I knew when I did that. Like, there's no way he's high enough. Damn it. But that's the heart of this part right here. That's kind of why I go quiet. Because it's easy as to tell. Almost right before he finishes saying fatal. Damn it. Is when I've kind of... I think you have to time for the 623A. Trolling. I lied. It's kind of like right after he finishes saying fatal. Alright. I don't know if that'll ever actually matter. We'll see. What did I do wrong? I missed the corner. Mother fucking corners. I did it again? Really? It doesn't feel like it. It's... Is it... Like, what, what's the, what's the problem? It's got to be something to do with me doing this entire motion, right? That's one of the, that's one of the factors. I don't know. Whatever. Oops. It's one of the factors that I've noticed is that I'll often, if I do, if I isolate the command and I do it by itself, I'll usually get it right. Thought I got that on the first try. That part right there. The Hotaru into the dash cancel and being able to, like, combo off of it. That's very important to have. This Oh, I hate this combo. Um... I need to, I, I don't want to be hitting the button that fast. Uh, what was I going to say? I don't know, whatever. Either way, character's, character's weird. I have a lot to learn, obviously, and I hate this fuck. Like, this is the worst. I will never do this combo. I understand why they put it in. Because it's a meterless hit confirm. But it's just so awkward. It's so weird. What you want, so I'll just show the example. You want to delay this JB by a significant amount basically to the last possible frame that it can land but uh yeah there we go i just i hate i hate it i hate it i'll never do that never ever damn it i'm stupid i always do the links just a bit too fast this is where it's beneficial to learn double tapping because if you were double tapping, then, you know, you wouldn't be having... I wouldn't be dropping them the way I am. Links. 
I'm not playing anime games through links, man. Where are my Gatlings? Hakumin is the reason why Guilty Gear Strive. Actually, no, that's the opposite. Never mind. Never mind. I was trying to figure out a way to shit talk Guilty Gear Strive, but it would have been the opposite. Oops. That was not J2A. <laughs> I don't know why I'm resetting. Oh, this one. Oh, okay, cool. I messed it up anyway. I mean, it's not cool that I messed it up. But I had a feeling I was going to mess it up regardless. I don't know why. I'm just not... Like, right now, this isn't a factor of, like, oh, your execution's messing up. For some reason, I'm just not going for the right thing. I have no excuse for it. All right, this part's hard. I've missed that often enough that I have a decent feeling for the timing now. Woo, I thought he was gonna be too high. That was close. All right, now we now we get to the truly hard stuff, the expert combos. That's definitely why it's expert right there. That link right there. Nope, nope, nope. I need to delay that a little bit. Like, there are so many parts of this combo that you can delay certain aspects of it. So you can delay after you do this. You can delay the dash cancel afterwards. You can delay the J2C as much as possible. You can delay the 6B after the 6A. Like, there are just so many parts of the combo that you can mess around with the timing to make it work. Uh, what am I doing? Oh, no, I hate... Oh, I'm gonna be here. Let's just check. I'm at seven minutes exactly. Let's see how long this is gonna take me. I hate this one. Wait too high. Oh, I thought that was it. I thought that was it. That was close. another combo that you will never catch me ever doing like this combo is just not gonna happen in a match like there are so many different parts of this combo that are so easy to mess up that it's just it's not worth going for like the risk reward ratio of dropping this combo and losing all of your momentum just makes it completely and utterly not worth doing That actually didn't take me that long. A minute and a half almost. Not anywhere near as long as I expected it to. This one may also take me a little bit. We'll see. It would help if I did the right combo. <laughs> Oops, that was way too long to wait. What does it want me to do afterwards? I want to do that. No. Yes. That... And another jockey. Okay, okay, okay. Cool, cool, cool. We got. We're there. We're there. We're there. I got it on this try, right now. No, I do not. I'm surprised that one didn't work. Okay, okay, that looked kind of sketch at the end there. It looked kind of like he might have been a bit too far away after that last... I've never seen... I don't think I've ever seen that combo leave Asriel lying that far away. Oh, no, I hate this one. Oh, oh, I thought that was it. Damn, if I had been able to get that one that quickly, that would have been sick. I would have been so proud of myself. I hate this combo.
is just another one where there's so many little aspects that cause this to be really easy to mess up. That's the other factor. You want to keep them high enough on the wall that they have more untech time, but you got to have them low enough on the wall so that the first 6C actually lands. There we go. Maybe. Nope. So that last part is just an absolute misery. I delayed a bit. I delayed a bit. I wish this game... I really desperately wish that this game, along with every other fighting game in the universe, uh, stole straight from French Bread that little thing, that timer that they have on all of your inputs, so you know, like, this is how long that you held up that you were in this state, whether it's holding down a button, holding down a direction, holding nothing, so you get that little bit of a timer there. Just gives you, you know, gives you more information to work with. Let's you understand. All right, I was I sat a little bit too long on this particular input, and that's why I screwed up the combo. That kind of thing. It's, just, it's useful. The more information they can give us, the better. That one was it. Now I just got. Ooh, I just gotta lay on that. Okay, all right, all right. None of these are taking quite as long as I thought they were going to. This is the last one, right? Okay, so this one's not gonna happen, and I'm gonna try to show you why it's not gonna happen. Okay, that's a bad start. I should at least get past that part. Mess that up. So I mean, that's one aspect, right? Like this part. This no, this part is no walk in the park in the first place. Just to get past this initial executional hurdle. That part right there, though. That part right there is why we are not. I am not doing this combo. I could probably sit here for the next year and not land this combo. Because not only am I mess, am I just messing this part up? You have to do that entire chain three times. The Subaki, uh, Hotaru Subaki, you land, then you need to dash, cancel the dash, because, you know, while you're airborne, obviously. That was a nice dash, Nate. Thank you. While you're airborne, you can cancel into his spe airborne special moves. You need to do that twice. Technically three times, because I believe the example also, like, ITK, the first one, but I believe the example even still uses uh, the dash cancel at the start. Let me, tr let me just see if I can do it. Oops, I'm trolling. It's just, it's... Oh my god. So basically, what you're looking at here, let me just go into the challenge commands. So you have this part, right? All this, easy. Then right here, you either need to dash cancel or TK cancel. Either one, whichever. I think both will work. I'm not positive on that one because I have not managed to land it successfully from TK in it. And like I said, I believe the example uses the dash. But so let's just say you need to dash Tsubaki Hotaru. TK into a second Tsubaki. Land. Dash... Cancel the dash into another Subaki. Do that chain again. Land. Do it again. Three times. You gotta do that three goddamn times. So I'll just I'll show you the example. There's a reason why it's this hard. It's a good goddamn thing this combo is this hard. Twelve K damage right there. I'll show you that again because it goes by quick. This is what happens if you let a Hakuman pop Mugen on you. Like, it's absolutely sick. I love this combo. That chain is sick, too. Oh, let me pay, I'm just going to pay closer attention here real quick. But yeah, he does dash. Okay, I just wanted to see, just to check, make sure that they dash the first one as well. But yeah, so I have never landed that first link once. Jesus Christ. So, like, if I had managed to land it at least once, 
then I'd be willing to be like, kind of like, sit down and be like, okay, yeah, I can do that. It'll take me a time. It'll take me a long ass time, but it's doable. But the fact that I have not landed it one single time, and the game wants me to do it twice, technically three times, because the first one you need to dash cancel as well. But it's not quite the same. It's not quite as stringent timing wise. What's one is just so I can show you. Oops, my bad. Let's just pretend I'm starting with Mugen right here. Oh my god. But see, like, I can't even do that part. Because it requires just so many inputs so quickly. Oh shit! I, just, I can't even do that one. I've never landed that. Not once. Not once, and they want me to do it twice. Not gonna happen. So there you go. There's Hakuman's Trials. Character's sick. I love this character. I can't wait to delve into him more. Does this combo actually come to think of it? Ooh, it does. Interesting. Just a casual 46.82 right there, just for that little bitty combo. You know what? Let me just throw this in here real quick, because I want to see... Because one of the reasons why I do not want to just throw away to oh you know what hang on let me go get let me go unlock the colors real quick one of the reasons why I don't want to just toss Tager into the bin outright I mean number one I do enjoy playing I mean it's just it kind of hurts that almost every single one of um oh my god They're, these are basically like all of his best colors that are here all right so let me get that let me also grab hot like which ones oh Hawkins kind of suck but whatever let's unlock them anyway where's Azreal? There's Azreal, which colors? Eh, his kind of suck too. What about Bullet? Like, I'm ever going to use Bullet, but she does get that Tager color palette. That's good. Anybody else in here that I might slightly care about? Nope! Anybody else further up? Nope! Alright. Um. All of the things that I struggle with execution-wise right now, Hakuman doesn't really have like one of the th one of the biggest problems that i'm having right now with tager or just in general is 3c into 623 hakuman doesn't have that you can't uh hakuman his 3c is not special canceled you can combo off of it if you get a counter hit but otherwise like you're not special canceling anything i'm not doing i'm not going to have any 6 to uh 3c 623 aa combos or anything like that with hakuman it's not going to happen and so that execution deficiency is going to remain if i am not doing it with somebody else and out of the characters that i want to play to my knowledge uh tager is the only one that has that like asriel doesn't have that either who else would i potentially be thinking about makoto makoto definitely doesn't do that valkenheim i don't know valkenheim doesn't even have six two three motions period Inputs for, oops, my bad. Turn on inputs really quickly. There we go. There's the inputs. Gotta remember to hit the right buttons. Well, so this shows the difference. What am I doing? Like, this combo's just... This combo's just so dumb. <laughs> There's no reason to do it. I even added a command in there, but that combo is just... Never do that combo. Don't ever do that combo. I mean, honestly, you should try to avoid doing this combo, too. It's kind of wild. Like, I'm kind of curious. For those of you that are watching, I know you all use a diverse cast of characters. You're all, you're not all just, you know, Tager players, Asriel players. Do you all have tools with your character where you're like, yeah, sometimes I'm forced to use this tool, but I would much rather never have to use this. It's like a last resort kind of a thing where you don't want to, but you kind of just, you kind of just have to. Gadget, both Gadget Finger and Crimson Punisher for Tager are that. It's like, all right, I have no magnetism, and so I kind of just have to do this. But it's under protest, basically. Like, how many other characters have that? Where it's like, this is your typical combo ender, but you don't really want to use it. Poison. 
terrible combo. Don't ever use your overdrive like this. I mean, you should! If you have the ability to hit confirm something into overdrive into Magnetech Wheel Terror Break, take it. That's max damage Taker can get on his combos, but don't, if that's all you're gonna get afterwards, is 6B, 6B Gadget Finger, don't do it. <laughs> that's not worth it. Oh, never mind. I love that combo. It's super easy. I almost always... thats I think that's the first time. Like, I've done these trials a lot. I'll come back and just do these trials every once in a while for shits and giggles. I don't think I've ever gotten that one on the first try. And, of course, I missed... Like, this is... This is a B&B &B off of this. Like, I do this constantly. This is the best combo you can get off of a wedge catapult with your back to the corner. And somehow I'm dropping that one. Well, okay, not this ender. Don't ever do that in the corner. Don't ever use Gadget Finger in the corner. That's my tip to you as a Tager. If you have somebody with their back to the corner, regardless of whether or not you have magnetism, do not use Gadget Finger on them. Do this. You can do that, or you can just end... If you just end on 6B as well, you can do that. Depending on the character, you might be able to do 6B, 6B, 4D. Basically anything. Anything you can do to cause a knockdown except for Gadget Finger. I mean, I guess technically Gadget Finger isn't a knockdown, but you get what I mean. How did I mess that up? Like, genuinely. 6A, 2C, Overdrive. Where was the Overdrive? Did I say I knew I screwed that up? I knew I screwed that one up too. You need to delay the jumping, uh, the JD just by a tiny little bit. You don't want to do it instantly, but obviously you don't want to do it too late either, because then you drop the combo. Doing it way too late. But if you do it too early, then you won't land in time to, uh, link 5C off of it. This actually hasn't been very beneficial to me just because... So this, yeah, this is the last one. There we go. I was about to say, I haven't had to do 3C Atomic Collider on any of these combos yet, but here we go. Right when I needed it most. But yeah, don't do this combo either. At least don't do that route. Don't do that part. It's not even max damage. It made... What am I doing? It makes it harder if you just do the raw sledge. There's just no point to it. I'll show you what I'll show you what I think you should be doing instead. Oh, I can't believe that landed. Holy shit. And that's why I screwed it up. I didn't think that uh I had timed the 6C correctly. This part of the combo. God, I suck. It's way too high. But like I said, I need to practice this. I need to get this down. Like, me missing it this often oops, no bad, is unacceptable. Although, to be fair, this combo also gets a little bit harder. It's easier if you do it like that. At the very start, no magnetism. Because the proximity changes how they float with Atomic Collider. So if they're too close, which is what they're going to be after uh, the 2D, it makes the float 6A part harder. God, I suck. Oh my god, I suck. That's just jumping the gun on the motion. So I'm trying to get into the 6 2 3 too early, thus giving me 6C. I hate I, I genuinely hate this route. It's just so shit. And it's so unnecessarily... Like, it's unnecessarily difficult, number one. But it's also less rewarding <laughs> than other options. So, like, just as an example... Well, no, I won't do it yet. I want to actually finish this. It's pathetic that it's taken me this many tries anyway.
I am an idiot. Okay, anyway, let's just pretend that I did that part. So then you need to do I saw. There we go. Then you just need to do that. Easy enough. But anyway, so what you should be doing, number one, forget the 6A part. Just forget the 6A part. Just do this. So now that part is character specific. But notice, that gives you more damage than the combo that I just did right there. And that if you do it, if you do the 6A part, you get even more damage. Just, you know, you need to actually land it. There we go. That's a far better route, and it's more reliable than just doing Sledge right out the gate. So, do that number one. But like I said, if you want to be more consistent with it, like, the combo is so easy if you just do 5B, and then you jump cancel that into JCJD instead. You're going to get, like, 100, 200 less damage, but you're going to hit the combo, like, 20, 30% more often. It's just too easy to drop the 6A, because like I said, the float changes based on proximity when you do the atomic collider with there are just too many factors which you just completely avoid if you just do 5b um that being said the 5c a sledge 5b link is character specifics It'll, the 5b won't land on smaller characters so in that case you just don't do um 5c a sledge just do 5c 6a 2c atomic collider actually in fact let me hang on i think at that point in the combo, I think you can do um, a gadget finger whip. Yeah, so you can just do that too. I mean, like you, again, you're missing what, like so that did forty-eight ten. You're losing out on hundred and nineteen damage. But this one, but that one, the first one, works on every single character in the game. You don't have to worry about character-specific shit. You don't have to think, like, oh, wait, does this work on this character? Does it not? It's easier to do, like... So, like I said, like, mission trials in general, they'll give you a good idea of what to do. But they're not optimal. I don't know of a single character that I've done where it is actually optimal. Like, maybe that Hakuman 6C, like, his last expert trial might be. But I don't know. But the one thing that I need to... F I wish... I don't know. There's just... I need to figure out something. But, like, this is the best I can do off of this, I think. Because 6A won't hit here, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's wild to me. Hey, yeah, tech there. How bad proration-wise 5D is. Okay, does this... Oh, my God, stop. But this combo's iffy. Okay, that does work. But this does not, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I just have to go straight into... Because, I mean, it's still good damage. Right? But obviously that's also a big commitment. I suck. Like I said. Hawkman doesn't have stuff like that. So I mean 4620. That's really good reward for it, right? But the problem, number one, if you land that too close, the ace ledge is gonna hit, and then you can't link off of it. Uh, even if you land it like point blank That won't work um, What else is there? I mean it's good because you just you have to commit to the entire thing So it's not an easy hit confirm in the first place It's just surprising how little reward you get for it Like I just can't believe even this doesn't work it Help! I actually got the 5A out Oops. I just can't believe that doesn't work to me. I can't believe it. Is that not okay? Not even close. I mean, that's a terror. Like, that's a, almost a thousand less. But still, like, if max distance was that? No, not even close. <laughs> okay, so that's not consistent either. It's just so irritating. Like, it's hard enough to land a grounded counter hit 5D on somebody in the first place, and you gotta make it so goddamn difficult to hit confirm it to anything even moderately rewarding. And it basically all stems from him losing. He used to be able to do 6A3C, but as you can see, not anymore. They took that from him. 
don't I have no idea why I just genuinely don't know why they ripped that away from him but they did and it's created it creates problems and it's irritating and I hate it like do I even get I think he'll still t oh he didn't take out of that one and then I just don't get the 2c who knows why anyway enough of that thank you for watching that's Tager's combos Hawkman's combos I'm out peace